Magazine. Hello once again, I am Doc Rotten and this is Gruesome Magazine where we review the very latest in streaming and video on-demand horror movies. Each week my co-host Jeff Moore, Crystal Cleveland, Dave Dreyer, Christopher G. Moore, and me. We'll take a look at various spooky, scary, gory genre offerings. I dropped an in. I dropped an in. I'll find it later. Tonight, we are excited to uh, review uh, The Runner, which is debuting on Shudder. We love Shudder, and we love what they offer. So let's take a look at this thing. Oh, boy. Uh, let me Before we do that, though, let, me, let me introduce the crew, starting off with... <laughs> Crystal Cleveland. Crystal Cleveland, the living dead girl. How you doing, Crystal? I'm good. I feel like you're kind of off off today, huh? You having a hard time um, getting it together? I, 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 yes. I kind of like when you're <laughs> like this. It makes me laugh. It makes me a little happy inside. Maybe uh, I'm just... You just like to see me embarrass myself. I yeah. understand. Yeah. I understand. I do. I, I, don't know why, I don't know why I'm being so mean, too. I'm like... I feel a little angry inside. Well, let's fix that, shall we? <laughs> um, also joining us is award-winning for the month. That's so weird. Christopher G. Moore. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing well. Yay. Okay. Yeah. Doing oh. wonderful. I don't know if I like Boy, that smile. am I harshly happy. Oh. Harshly happy. All right, rounding up That's, the crew. You, you actually kind of look like a lumberjack. It's kind of a good look. For, it's a really good I'm, look for you. Yes, I'm going yeah, for that. I like it. As long as I can buy my wood and I don't have to chop it myself. He's making furniture now. Yep. Buy your wood. Who else is going to buy? Or wood? I'm selling toilet paper. Um, <laughs> no, I'm selling paper towels. <laughs> oh, Brawny. Yeah, oh, totally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're embracing your inner Dexter. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Ooh, I, I like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is what it looks like when a podcast goes south. All right, rounding out the crew <laughs> is. Grusin Magazine's very own Jay Dreyer. Hey, I'm running, Doc. I'm running. I'm running. Oh, You're oh, running. There we go. I am mm -hmm. running. Running, running. As fast as I can. Oh, do it. We're gonna get caught on that one. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to review the runner it's streaming on Shutter. We're going to give our first impression. That will be spoiler free. Then we'll talk about the movie. We'll get into spoilers, whatever they may be for this one. And then we'll wrap things up with our final thoughts, our score, one to five, and our favorite scene. And of course, uh, we hope you enjoy not only this review, but many others that we have on the site. And if you want to help us out and be nice to us for, you know, I don't know, shits and giggles, um, you can... <laughs> <laughs> you can, uh, you can, don't make me laugh. I'll never get through this, and we need to get through this. Um, yes, what am I saying? We hit the subscribe button, you hit the mm -hmm. like button, yep. you share with a friend. It's all <coughs> gravy, gravy, and we'll love it. Thank you, and we'll love you. Um, uh, of course, we want to hear your comments down below. What is going on tonight? I am, I am, just I, ladle I, I, us with likes. I don't even know. Yeah, <laughs> ladle, us, ladle us. Ladle. Oh my God! Yes. Ladle. Oh. <laughs> like gravy. A ladle. Um. All right. Um. Why did you make me do that? All right. The Runner, <laughs> streaming on Shutter, beginning January sixteenth, twenty twenty-two. Uh, written and directed by Boy Harsher. Cast includes Chris Esfandari, Diari, Esfandari, Esfandari, uh, Sigrid, Lauren, Cooper, B. Handy, Cooper, B. Handy. That's a cool name. I feel like there's a joke in there. Mm -hmm. um, synopsis. Runner. Runner follows a strange woman as she travels. A strange woman. As she travels to a secluded rural town where her violent compulsions are slowly revealed. The story intertwines with a band, with the band Boy Harsher, performing on a public access channel. Their music scores uh, the strange woman's descent deeper into the unknown. Um... Yeah, mm -hmm. that, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That. That's it. All right. This movie, um, I didn't realize was is, is actually only thirty five minutes long, and it. Yeah. As we get into this, you're going to find out it feels very much more like a uh, a music video or extended video about the you know a, a, an LP worth of songs. Am I wrong about that? Um, but it does have horror elements with its lead character, and we're going to dive into this, Dave. You know, I'm. Okay, you would. You would have to make a go first. 
What is your first impression? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so think, oh, think, yeah. think Michael Jackson's Thriller, only it sucks. <laughs> and you're you're kind of where we're at. No, uh, you, you know, you got to kind of give these guys props for what they tried to do here. This really was uh, kind of a, 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 well, really not inventive, but it, it was very bold of them to try this. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, for me, it didn't work. This is not in my wheelhouse. I did not care for the filmmaking style. I did not care for the music. Uh, I, I didn't know what they were trying to tell me. Uh, the, the last song, the very last song over the credits is not too bad. But the rest of it is like that synth pop. Yeah. I, I don't know what it is. Mm. Dance, almost EDM. Uh, not not my scene. Uh, it was just, I found it to be very disorienting and strange and not in a good way. Uh, I still don't know what it was all about. Was, lady, was the lady like a vampire? or uh, uh, I, I don't know what she was. We'll yeah. discuss it and I, figure it out. Maybe yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what she was. But again, I, I do give them kudos for... for taking a rather bold step to to get their music out there and uh you know present it in uh in a horror or a genre framework mm -hmm. i'm it did not work for me i think we're going to find it worked for some of us uh in this room tonight but mm -hmm. this definitely wasn't in my wheelhouse but they have my respect for swinging for the fence there you go oh, well, that, that's, that's a nice that's reference admirable. must admirable. be that's that's a yeah, yeah it is mm -hmm. it is crystal what was your first impression of The Runner? Okay, so at first when I started watching this, I thought it was a movie. And um, like an actual normal play-by-play -play movie. And then as I started watching it, I was like, oh, oh my God, okay. I get it. It's like an extended, you know, music video. So I actually stopped it and went back and started re-watching it. Because I oh, didn't... Nice. Yeah, because nice. I didn't want it to like affect how... I had felt up to that point. I love the music. I I love the music. Like, I would go see this band since they're coming to North Carolina this month, but they're not coming close enough. I mean, the biggest city in North Carolina, they're not coming here, which is kind of crazy, but whatever. Um, they kind of have like a, it, I would call it new wave, but I think that they call themselves like dark wave. And I'm sure they have some music that's darker, but it just, it's, this was pretty poppy to me you know, like poppy wave, but um, I loved it. And I, it's an artistic music, extended music video. I don't know if it extends the whole LP. I think the LP is actually called The Runner, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, well, it, okay. well, they reference it as The Runner inside the, you know. It, it's, got, it's got points of like, almost like a documentary, like intertwined with it. And then you follow this one character who I think is kind of the embodiment of, you know, the way that the, I don't know if it's like two band, the guy and the girl, I guess, are like, I don't know who the rest of the people are, are like the main ones. I kind of feel like they kept talking about how they felt about things. And I think that, I think it was just like a metaphor for themselves. Like, you know, I don't want to get, I don't, I guess I can't say anything just yet, but some of the points are, I think, you know, I, I, it's very artistically shot. I mean, it's, is it excellent filmmaking? No, but I liked it and I enjoyed it and I was entertained and I loved the whole 80s vibe and I love how they did like the, this like PBS, like feel public access thing. I, I, I enjoyed it. I just had fun with it. I didn't take it too seriously once I realized what it was though. Okay. So, you know, once you realize that's what it is going in, you're going to enjoy it a lot more. <laughs> Cause I, at first I was like, I don't get it. Oh, I get it. Duh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rewind. Yeah. All right. Christopher G. Moore, what was your first impression of The Runner? Well, I, before I even watched it, I noticed this. it was 38 minutes. And I was like, that's, not a, it's, it, that's more of a short film. Um, and then in the process of watching it, you know, it, it, I, I think I was a little bit like Crystal. I was like, uh, wait a minute. Is this... Is this a movie? Is this a music video? And I feel it's 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 more of what they call like a visual album. You know, like you know, a Beyonce mm -hmm. had like that lemonade thing that was what like about for the, a lot of the words. wall, Pink Floyd's the wall. wall. Mm -hmm. I mean, there, there's a lot of uh, uh, bands that have created sort of what they call visual albums of sorts, and this is theirs. Um, and I do like the. I mean, you know, that they, they that band is very. I, I I like that type of music, the dark wave mm -hmm. music. I love it so. Um, 
it, you know, it, it has elements of like, you know, like the score from Mandy and that kind of stuff where it's very synthy. Um, and, and, uh, it also has like the eighties vibe, but crystal mentioned, I mean, it also feels, feels a little like it might've been influenced by video drum a little bit, just in yeah. the, the little, little the video, yeah. video things that pop up in between. Um, but then it goes to, you know, it, it, but it's not even like, as opposed to just like visual stories, some parts of it, just them playing their music yeah. or girls dancing in front of, you know, sparklers and, um so it it, it it a lot of the music videos feel like 80s music videos um and i, I think as long as you know know that's what it is as long as, i mean it has it, the, the story isn't really doesn't really it's it's very up in the air um but i think it still has some good moments there's a really sort of uh interesting moment with the the main actress when she this last time when she picks up a phone or whatever that's mm. really kind of yeah. powerful to watch. Mm. So, um, but yeah, I, I mean, I was a little bit confused because I was like, this doesn't, this is, feels like just a, a long form music video, like a, um, and, and I think it achieves what it is, you know, it, and it's more, it does have the horror. I mean, there's a really good, uh, gore effect, like, like three fourths of the way into it. It's really mm -hmm. well done. Um, but yeah, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. And it's just, you know, it, it's definitely done just like a music video. It's not mm -hmm. like, it's not like uh, where they, they take music and you just, you add it to like a, a movie type thing. Cause again, it goes in, it, you know, there's, it almost like has little chapters where it goes back to the TV and then, but then it has characters pop up. Like, I don't know what this <laughs> kid in the mobile home yeah, or whatever yeah. is doing. <laughs> uh, I mean, it, it does have those, like the end credits thing, which Dave mentioned, which is kind of like one of those things you see in movies where like, all the characters are singing yes. and stuff. So it, it felt like something used to be like a more of a comedy movie. Like, but, um, but yeah, I mean, I think, I think if you accept it for what it is, like Crystal said, I, I think you understand that. Just know going into it, this is not like a normal movie. And, and if you like that type of music, um, you, you probably will enjoy it. I mean, it, it doesn't, it doesn't create anything new. Um, and uh, it, it is more of a, a more artistically visual i guess than it is something that has a normal storyline because there's there's really no <laughs> i don't know yeah. really don't know what was happening oh, yeah. um or, or why things were happening i thought there was going to be some resolution to that but there there really wasn't um so yeah i mean i enjoy it for what it is for it, the the sort of artistic exploration that they're doing with that because they i know i saw like i actually looked them up on um uh, apple music and and I saw that, that their music is supposed to drop soon on there. So, okay. and I listened to some of their music and I, I mean, I, I like that type of music, so I didn't mind it, but again, it's, it's, if you're trying to find some deep meaning to it, I'm not sure you're going <laughs> to, you're going to yeah. find that. <laughs> just enjoy some music and some cool visuals. I mean, it's just like watching a bunch of different weird eighties MTV <laughs> music videos sewn together. Yeah. Sewn together. Um, I'm, I'm just going to jump in here and say I'm in Dave's camp. I really didn't, get in line with this i um i didn't know it was going to be 38 minutes but i knew before i watched it and then i had a, a more of an inclination of what i was in for before i watched it as opposed to when i scheduled this on the bike but i um it didn't it didn't appeal to me at all i didn't like the music i didn't like the, the lack of narrative i didn't like the idea i didn't like my 35 minutes wasted i was unhappy oh i was unhappy oh. about this Really? Um, wow. Yeah, I found okay, it. Okay, it's really about whether you like the movie. And let me tell you, like I, that. I, I found it a little pretentious. I found <gasps> a little artsy fartsy and pretentious. I was like, oh, you know. Oh, I, I had a feeling. I was worried that people were going to feel that way. I was like, oh, this is going to, this could go. It just depends. If you like the music, I think you're going to, you're going to enjoy, kind of enjoy it. The lead actress, too, she kind of reminds me of like Susie Sue. From like Susie and the Banshees, yeah. I guess that I mean, way yeah. she did her makeup and stuff. I loved that. I, I, mean, I will I, say that she was the only thing that made it, made it, made it even feasible for me to make it through the thirty-five minutes. It was because she was interesting. Mm -hmm. the, whatever was happening around her or with her wasn't. <laughs> I was and, and and then it ends with you know bad white boy dancing. I just oh my god, I thought he was hilarious. Oh, See, I no, loved it. No. And that's actually one of my favorite things. I was cracking up. No. I was like, this guy. I was like, does no. he actually dance that poorly, or is that just for fun? It was like I a Napoleon. He was doing it on purpose. Yeah, he was, was doing like it on purpose. It's and I don't get it. 
It was like a little Napoleon Dynamite type thing. Uh, well, see that. Well, I'm gonna shut up because I'm gonna. There, there was there was I'm one point. On the there was one point where they have the the, the band is like uh, playing their music in some garage or something and the drummer is wearing like this mask and at mm -hmm. first i thought i was like is this turning into mandy mm. <laughs> i thought it was one of the killers from mandy uh and i was kind of disappointed in that because it, it was just a weird uh, it, 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 well it was just kind of jarring too because i mean uh you know those type of masks were kind of associated with bands like slipknot and mushroom head yeah. Which are these big, heavy, industrial sounds? And you got these guys playing this little ricky dink 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 dink, dink, dink <laughs> shit. I'm like, what the hell am I watching? Electric drums, right? Okay, so yeah. that's really the thing. They don't like the music, and so yeah, no, I do not like the music. I, yeah, man. I, I don't. I wouldn't say I don't like it. I just don't get it. I don't understand it. I, I like the shit. music. I would. I'd use that in one of my movies at the Me drop too. of a I hat. Love it. So mm -hmm. um, I'm sorry. I said I'd I, go see them. So see, like that's yeah. kind of. Like, but I again, really that, that's like my it. type of music. I actually, I, I Dark Wave is a lot of the, the channels that I look on a, Apple Music and stuff mm -hmm. that I play. Mm -hmm. So, and I, and I can understand how that might turn you off with that, you know. And if yeah. you don't like the music, oh my god, yeah, this would be a nightmare yeah. because that's basically. Well, that's I mean, music the whole is. Thing. You could even argue that music's even more subjective than the movies, right? So. Yes. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I couldn't yeah. tell you what the music was singing about. <laughs> I, mm -hmm. I mean, it just to me, I just felt it was like a, like a synth score. It wasn't grating. I mean, so let me let me reel back a little bit. It wasn't grating. It wasn't like you know, oh my god, you'll close my ears. It was just like I don't like this music. Um, you know, I'm I'm more of a metalhead, really. But um, but Dave, I'm kind of surprised. You know, you have a little bit more breadth in music taste because of you know gruesome music. You still just didn't. Appeal yeah, to yeah. This would this would not be something that I'm attracted to in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, you know, it. it's just not. But it, it's just a matter of taste, you know. I, I think it's great that, uh, that Chris and Crystal like it because we need that viewpoint. Because I, I think probably uh, there's going to be a larger contingent in their camp than in our camp. Uh, I mean, I, I will say probably. I was more interested in the story with the woman. There's one part where the the one of the band members, I think yeah. it's Jay Matthews, where she's talking like hey, we do this and and they're talking and it was it was. <laughs> It was just kind of weird, um, you know. It's 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 not as bad as the strings or the girls playing the piano, but oh my god, um, yes, it is better. That this is uh, thirty five so minutes. The, yeah, I could I could watch this several times before I watch the strings again. But um, uh, Sorry but yeah, for I don't know. But but, yeah. but but at the end of the day, what was the purpose of us watching this? If if we didn't care for the music, it was just wasted time. Yeah, is if you the, didn't well, care, but, the but, basic again, takeaway. but again, that's I mean, it, it it is subjective. I mean, and and I go to a lot of horror film festivals, and they actually have a music category where it's music videos and that kind of thing. And so, mm -hmm. oh, and then cool. it's it, it's in the same way that you there's like more artistic horror films that some of us may not like because of it, the weirdness of it or or the colored lights. Uh, <laughs> Well, there are color lights in this. Oh my god! I was, I was thinking that. that day. I was, I was thinking, thinking that day too. When, when, yeah. they, when they have the all the, the red RV and there's kind of that yeah. red. blue light in one window and red light in the other. I was like, oh. I know, See, I love, love it. it. Yeah. 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 I just feel like Dave popped up my, on my shoulder with his horn. It's a whole subgenre. One one day I will it's write funny, a book about the, the subgenre of flashy light, uh, flashy light horror. You got to come up with a, a flashier name than that. So. Yeah, yeah, flashy light horror right now is what we're going with. But yeah, there, there's a whole subgenre of this crap right now. It's there. It exists. Flashy light. It, it, it kind of reminded me of like a, <laughs> a slower version of. There's like an old music video for "Smack My Bitch Up." What? It's from the point of view of of uh, the person, and they're going around doing all these crazy things. Oh. It kind of reminds me of that, except a little bit less hectic, but. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. Sounds I, like I, that band wound up in the Rock Hall. Huh? <laughs> well, actually, they're, <laughs> they 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 they're the ones that sang the song Firestarter. So yeah, yeah. Um, uh, uh. But um, uh, but yeah, I don't know. I I, I did like the filmmaking aspect of it because they were really going for sort of a a, a retro vibe to it. Yeah, was it, know, it even, was it even the, full frame? I mean. I'm not sure, but I well, know that when, like, they did, it, when, when they did the PBS stuff, they were square. The frame, TV yeah. stuff, and I think okay. I think how they shot that was really. I was actually paying attention to the because it felt like there was grain in parts. So I'm not mm -hmm. sure if they shot it like 16 millimeter or something, but it felt like a, a retro vibe yeah, to like all film, of it. Almost. So yeah. I think whoever they got to sort of shoot some of the stuff, 
the scenes. It's like the, like the bar scene and stuff. It mm-hmm. felt like it was from like an eighties movie. And, and I sure. kind of, I kind of respected that they're going for that vibe, even if it's just, if it is more like David Lynchian. I love and, David. And you know, I love it. David. See, so I guess maybe I really, this just hit all the notes for me, but I will, I will say that the, the actress that played the PBS host, yeah. you know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. When mm-hmm. she, she felt authentic. <laughs> so oh my God, that's like... so funny. That's so funny. Cause immediately when I saw her, I was like, gosh, she looks so eighties. I know. That was so like, awesome, like right? literally I was like, she really looks like she just stepped right the out. Style, of everything. Mm-hmm. It just, yeah, it really felt. I feel like those little, those little videos in Robocop. <laughs> <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. You know, it, it felt very, each little thing felt like one of those sort of like uh, uh, local channel yeah. uh, type things. You know, like Wayne's World was on like the, uh, for like with, with those type of uh, yeah. local. Like PBS, yeah. right? Cable yeah. access. Cable, cable access, yeah. Cable access, yeah. That, mm. It's a thing. That's a whole little culty subgenre. Right? Uh, all right, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Let's give our final thoughts. Our score, one to five, and our favorite scene. Uh, and there's only one for me, and you guys take it. I'm still using it. Dave, <laughs> you, sir, are up first. Uh, let us have I, it. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with my original opening statement. This wasn't for me, but I don't really don't feel that that uh, that gives me the right to shit all over it. I, I do respect what they tried to do. They obviously went in with a vision, and I think they executed what they were going for. Yeah, um, I'll give you that. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah, uh, you know. Again, it just wasn't my cup of tea, and that's okay. You don't have to be. Uh, I'm going to give it a, 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 a two just out of respect. Um, you know, okay, give it a watch. It's, it's only 38 bad, minutes. Yeah. It's not a, you know, it's not a, it's not a, a horrible long watch. Although I have to admit when I seen the credits roll on, I was like, yes, thank God. <laughs> 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 and uh, the only thing that even sticks out in my mind from this whole thing is there's a scene at some point in this where our runner like sticks her hand in the yeah. chest of some person. I don't know. I'm what using that it anyway. Was. <laughs> I don't know what that what that was or why it was, but it did have like a real Cronenberg kind of video drone feel to it, mm-hmm. uh, and, and I appreciated that. Um, what else is there? Anything else I have to say? I don't think so. I gave no, you a I score. Think I, think I give you. Good. A, I think you're yeah. good. Yeah. 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 Next. Yeah, next. I did it all. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, Crystal, you're next. Okay, so I really did like it. I mean, I it's really just my kind of thing. I like the music. I like the way it was shot. I, li- I even liked the length. It was like a good length. I li- I liked the the lead. She's such she's got such a great look. Um, I I you know I don't even know how to rate this because it's so different. For okay, so I, this has to be rated for what it is and not like as I would rate a n- normal movie, but as like an extended mm-hmm. or like what did Christopher call it a visual album? I love visual that. album. Yeah, that's that's totally what it is. I honestly I. I I, I can't believe I'm, y'all are going to, I don't know. I, I'd give it a four. I really enjoyed it. Nice, like nice, I, nice. I almost nice. watched it through twice. So, and okay. So I won't take the, I was assuming she was ripping out her heart, even though they didn't technically show the heart, but I will say it kind of relates to that. It just made me laugh. And it's the ending credits where that Sigrid Lauren character, the same character just is all bloody. And she's like, smoking her was, cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. So oh, no. I liked the ending credits. I like, I, well, I might say I liked the ending credits, but I like the movie. Um, Christopher, you're up next. Your well, final part of the movie. Score. It is. <laughs> you like something, I at least. So. I suppose so. Um, I don't know. I, I kind of liked writing this dark wave of a visual. Ah, I, I, mm-hmm, you like yeah. what I did there? Mm-hmm. I caught it. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. And maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe you two boys thought it was harsher than what it is. But no, I, 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 uh, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Uh, but uh, oh. no, I'm, I, I, I was running. No. Um, no. Uh, no, I, I, I enjoyed it. I, I, I think... Um, I enjoyed it for what it is. Like, like Crystal says, I, I, I don't consider this to be a movie. It, mm-hmm. it, it is more of a long form, what, I, what they call a long form music video, even though it's a, more of a long for visual album, I guess. Um, that, you know, has all these different type of songs that are thrown in and um, that sometimes accentuate what's happening. But I, I think um, there's not really a, a uh, there's not really a lot of, meet to what's happening other than her going from location to location. I think, 
I, I kind of wish that there'd be a, a, a better plot arc to what's happening. <laughs> um, and there wasn't, and that, that's, but that's fine. I think, I think this is, it, it is more artistic, but I'll give it more props mainly because I just like the, the, the visual attempt. Um, mm -hmm. And I, you know, me, I love anything that's sort of '80s inspired, and and I feel like it has sort of a, it has very a very '80s Cronenbergness to it. You know, it has a little bit of Videodrome, has a little bit of body horror. You know, it has a, it's almost like elements of Videodrome and Rabbit. I mean, it has all kinds oh, yeah. of these different things in there that are kind of interesting. Um, that that to where you're kind of confused, but you're, you're kind of confused throughout because there's really no yeah. answer to anything that's happening. Um, but I think, um, there, there are moments that kind of stand out and kind of interesting. I think, I think, um, the, the main actress, I think I would love to see more of that. And, and then it kind of, kind of breaks off in these little music video things where they're actually playing their instruments and then it turns <laughs> into like an eighties music video and girls mm. dancing in front of sparks and stuff. And, um, so I was like, oh, okay, this is, I mean, this is cool for what it is. So I, and, and so I'd, if I give it a rating, it's a rating for what it is, as, as opposed to a lot of the movies that we review on these uh, podcasts. Um, so, um, I won't give it as high as Crystal, but I'll mm -hmm. give it a th three point. I give it a three point five. Yeah, um, good. And I, I enjoyed it um, for what it is. Um, and if I have to pick a favorite scene. I think it's one of the scenes towards the end because throughout the whole music video, she's calling this weirdo. He's like, come home, come home. <laughs> um, and she, she almost kind of has like a breakdown. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was probably one of the strongest parts, you know, because all this weirdness and wackiness, you know, where she's like flashing her fangs at the guy <laughs> at the bar. And, like, and the guy's like, oh, I'm not kissing that. She's got raggedy teeth. Um, <laughs> so, uh, but... <laughs> <laughs> so uh, all the weirdness i think in this one moment there's a moment of sort of drama that i thought was kind of pulled me in i was like oh wow i mean this is kind of i, I kind of wish there'd been a little bit more of that and i think if it, if it had more of an arc to it and more of a you know because i think it's okay when you have like the music video element but if you're gonna have a story i wish there was more to it you need some narrative um, yeah. yeah yeah a little bit more narrative to it but i, I but at the end Music videos aren't, you know, it's like, I don't watch Duran Duran for narrative. Mm -hmm. I don't watch their music videos for narrative. So, so I can understand what they're going for. So just know going into it, it's more of a long form sort of visual album, long form music video. And you can appreciate for that. And if you don't, and if you don't like dark wave, yeah. don't, maybe don't this is not your jam. Mm -hmm. don't do it. Yep. Don't do it. All right. I'm going to keep this quick or we'll run longer than the movie. Um, I, <laughs> This, this this wasn't for me. 2.0, my favorite scene, Dave took it, and then I'm going to use it too. I, you know, it, something actually interesting happened. I'm sorry. That's harsh. <laughs> or it might be harsher. Boy, um, you harsh. <laughs> boy. Um, I could, you've made me do it. All right. So that, I'm, I'm just going to throw it out there like that. I'm sorry. Just... And, and I, 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 think, I think they made it's, this knowing that it. there's going to be people that are just not going to get it and well if you don't like the bottom line is not this is not everyone's cup of tea mm -hmm. i mean not everyone likes this type of music and if you don't like the music oh my gosh just avoid it because yeah this, now if, yeah. if this was yeah. if it, it just makes sense it really does yeah if this yeah. is made by spin doctors i would have hated it oh, <laughs> oh my god me too nice, me too nice. thank you yeah i used to oh call them spin proctologist when i was a kid. i think, <laughs> think david david and i with uh, some alice cooper and We'll see uh, yeah, yeah, All right. yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. That's our review of the runner is streaming now on shutter. Like you said, it's, it's 35 minutes. If you've listened to this, you could have watched it. So do it. Um, <laughs> to yep. Crystal, Dave, Christopher, thank you for joining me. Uh, this, for this was a blast. Thank you. It was. Yep. Yeah, it's always fun. You know, you never know what you're going to watch or what we're going to talk about on this show. Something so. new. Yep. Yep. All right. Let's say good night. Good night. Good night. Gruesome Magazine.